In this video, we are looking at part four of our Excel Shortcuts Hints and Tips series. This video, we are covering two more function keys and then three keyboard shortcuts that you can use. The first function key we are looking at is the F7 key, which is the one for spell check. You can either press this, just that F7 key, or you might have to hold down the FN key, that function key in your keyboard first, and then press F7, depending on what keyboard you're using. In my spreadsheet, I have a spelling mistake. I'm going to press the F7 key, and you can see that a pop-up window has come up saying, would you like to check the rest of the sheets? I'm going to click yes, and you can see it's come up with that spelling mistake at the top, and then the suggestions further down. I'm going to change it to the suggestion that I need. You can see this then checked the rest of your spreadsheet, everything's fine. Click on OK and you can see there's now no longer any spelling mistakes in my spreadsheet. So that was that F7 key in your keyboard. The other F function key that we're looking at today is the F8 key. This F8 key turns on your extended selection mode in Excel, which allows you to select more than one cell by using your arrow keys on your keyboard rather than actually clicking and dragging in your spreadsheet. So it's just another way of selecting cells. I press the F8 key on my keyboard and down the bottom you can tell it's turned on because it now says extended selection at the bottom of my sheet. I'm now using the arrow keys on my keyboard and in doing so you can see it is now selecting more than one cell in my spreadsheet. If I now press the F8 key again, it turns it off. You can see that the extended selection word down here has disappeared. If I now use those arrows on my keyboard, it just moves between the cells rather than selecting them. So that was the F8 key for turning on the extended selection mode. The three keyboard shortcuts we're going to look at now. The first one is the shortcut to open up the Format Cells dialog box. So in my spreadsheet, you can see the number 15 is here. I'm going to change this number 15 to be 15 pounds. So to bring up that Format Cells box, the keyboard shortcut for that is the Control key and then the number 1 key at the top of your keyboard. So not the number 1 on your right side keypad if you have it. It has to be the number 1 up at the top. So pressing control and the number one, you can see that the format cells box has popped up. I've selected currency, click OK, and then it has changed that for me on that spreadsheet. So that was that first keyboard shortcut. The second one we're going to look at is the shortcut to enter the current date into a cell of your spreadsheet. This is the current data when you're working on your spreadsheet. So doing it today, it will do one date. Tomorrow, of course, will be different. The keyboard shortcut for this is the control key and the semicolon symbol. On your keyboard, the semicolon symbol is found on the same key as the colon one. If you just press that semicolon slash colon key on your keyboard, it will put up the semicolon symbol. So to enter the current date into a cell, just press the control key and then press that semicolon symbol on your keyboard and you can see as I entered the current date into my spreadsheet. So that was that keyboard shortcut to enter the current date. The next one we're going to look at is to enter the current time into a cell. So this is used in the same key on your keyboard, however we now want the colon symbol rather than semicolon. To access this colon symbol, you have to press the shift key as well. So the shortcut for entering in the current time into a cell is control and that colon symbol, which you access that by doing control shift and then that key. So I press down the control key on my keyboard, holding down the shift key, and I press that same key on my keyboard, and it is entered in the current time into my spreadsheet. So those are just those three keyboard shortcuts that you can use as well in your spreadsheets. So just a summary of those shortcuts. The F7 key is the spell check option in Excel. 
the F8 key, your function, the other function key, it turns on the extended selection mode in Excel. Then there's three keyboard shortcuts, the control key and the number one key at the top of your keyboard opens the format cells dialog box. Control and the semicolon symbol enters the current date into a cell. And then control and the colon symbol that enters the current time into a cell, which that is accessed by doing control shift and then that same semicolon slash colon key on your keyboard. We hope you enjoyed all of these shortcuts and I managed to find a way to use them in your spreadsheet soon.